The topic of today's video is the potential divider. Now many reference books state that for a potential divider circuit as shown here, the formula for the output voltage is V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2 times the voltage in. Now we're going to look at how we derive this equation from the circuit. Okay, so I made a little diagram of the circuit in the top right hand corner. Now at this point I think it's important to stress that we are determining the output voltage under no load conditions, which means that there is no load resistance connected to the output here. Now let's look at the current flowing through the circuit. So I'll mark the current on the diagram. So here we have I, which is the current flowing through the circuit. Now first of all, we're going to look at the total resistance. So the total resistance of the circuit, as it's a series circuit, RT, is equal to R1 plus R2. Now the current I in a series circuit is constant through all the components. So if you want to find the value of I, we have to use Ohm's law. So from the diagram, I will equal V in divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is RT. Now we also know that the same current flows through the resistor R2. So we have I, equals V out over R2. Now from this we can write V in divided by RT is equal to V out divided by R2. Okay so we also know that RT is equal to R1 plus R2, so we can replace RT in this part of the equation and say that V in equals R1 plus R2, which equals V out over R2. Okay, so we now have our equation and all that's left to do is to make V out the subject of the equation. So just doing the algebraic manipulation, if we take R2 over to the left, I'll write it as V out as the subject of the equation on the left hand side. V out then equals um, V in over R1 plus R2 multiplied by R2. So if I take V out, out over to outside the brackets, put R2 inside the brackets, we get V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by V in, which is the equation that we're uh, ultimately looking for. Okay, so now we have the equation. Let's put this into practice and do an example. Okay, so the circuit that we are given consists of a DC supply of negligible internal resistance of 15 volts and we have two resistors connected as shown. R1 equals 1k ohm and R2 we are not given any value for. The current flowing through the circuit is 10 milliamps and what we are asked to do is we are asked to calculate the value of R2 and V out. So stop the video, have a work through the problem yourself. I'll give you a couple of minutes, then I'll come back and I'll work through the problem with you. Okay, so we're asked to calculate R2 and V out. Now, from Ohm's law, we know that V in equals I times RT. So V in equals I times the total resistance, RT. Now we know that I equals 10 milliamp. And we know that V in is 15 volts. So V, sorry, 15 volts, 15 volts equals 10 times 10 to the minus 3 amps times RT. Now rearranging this to make RT the subject of the equation, we get RT equals 
15, 15 volts divided by 10 times 10 to the minus 3 amps and this equals 1500 ohms. Right, so we know that RT, the total resistance in a series circuit, is equal to R1 plus R2. So RT, which is 1500 ohms, equals R1, which is 1000 ohms, plus R2. So, making R2 the subject of the equation, R2 is equal to 1500 minus 1000. Hence, R2 is equal to 500 ohms. Okay, so I made a note of R2 at the top, which equals 500 ohms. So now we're asked to calculate V out. So the formula that we derived was V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by the voltage in. So V out equals R2 which is 500 ohms, so 500 divided by R1 plus R2 which was 1500 ohms multiplied by the voltage in multiply that by 15 so V out equals 5 volts ok so we have another problem where we have a 9 volt supply with a current of 0.5 amp flowing through the circuit R1 has a value of 15 ohms and again we are asked to calculate the value of R2 and V out. So again stop the video, have a go at the problem yourself and I'll come back in a couple of minutes and work through the problem with you. Okay, so we know that V equals I times RT. We know that V equals 9 volts and I equals 0.5 of an amp multiplied by RT making RT the subject of the equation RT equals 9 volts divided by 0 0.5 amps which equals 18 ohms now we know that RT in a series circuit we just add the value of the resistors together equals R1 plus R2 therefore RT equals R1 which is 15 ohms plus R1 uh, sorry R2 we know the value of RT which is 18 so I can make put that in here so therefore R2 is equal to 18 ohms minus 15 ohms which equals 3 ohms we can then put that into our equation so V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by V in therefore V out equals R2 which is 3 ohms divided by 15 ohms plus 3 ohms which is 18 ohms in total multiplied by the voltage in which is 9 so this gives us 1.5 volts 